How to stop provisioning message by CP client on Nokia phone. A provisioning message is a message that contains settings or configuration information for a device, such as network, internet, or multimedia settings. A CP client is a software that handles the provisioning messages and applies them to the device. In Nokia phones, some users may receive provisioning messages from CP client that are annoying or suspicious. These messages may be caused by various factors, such as, the network carrier or service provider sending the provisioning messages to update or optimize the device settings. The device having a 4K sector drive, which is not supported by some versions of SQL Server and causes an error during the installation. The device being infected by malware or phishing attacks that try to trick the user into accepting malicious settings or downloading harmful apps. To stop the provisioning messages from CP client in Nokia phones, there are some possible solutions that you can try, such as, modify the registry to allow SQL Server to install on a 4K sector drive. This is a workaround that involves changing a registry value that controls the sector size check during the installation. Use a special flag when starting the SQL Server service. This is another workaround that involves adding a startup parameter to the SQL Server service that bypasses the sector size check. Go to Settings App Info All App Settings button Show System CP Client and Force Stop, Clear Data, and Clear Cache. Scan your device for malware or phishing attacks and remove any detected threats. Contact your network carrier or service provider and ask them to stop sending the provisioning messages or verify their authenticity. These are some of the possible solutions that can help you stop the provisioning messages from CP client in Nokia phones. However, these are not official or recommended solutions, and they may have some risks or limitations. For example, using a 4K sector drive may affect the performance or compatibility of SQL Server with other applications or systems. Therefore, you should use these methods at your own discretion and back up your data before proceeding. Alternatively, you can wait for Microsoft to release an official update or patch that supports SQL Server on Windows 11. However, there is no confirmed date or timeline for this update.